very torrid game, Mark. Um, to your credit, you kept going to the very end, but uh, really tough on the boys. Yeah, I think we've just said that in the change rooms. Um, you know, we dug in and, and I guess we were up against it from when we went down to 14, but we, we didn't lose faith at half-time. We said we're still in it and we, um, you know, I guess we, the pressure ended up telling, but we were, we were proud of some of our efforts. What about the referee's interpretation situation? It seemed to get to both sides at times. Uh, you know. I think, you know, you see a slightly different refereeing decisions in, in Europe and different interpretations, and I guess that's what it comes down to. Nothing us on the pitch can do about it or nothing anyone in the stands can do. Uh, at, you know, There's no complaints anywhere from us about the decisions. They sometimes go for you, sometimes go against you. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those things, an interpretation, I guess, on the day. You had to reshape how you approach the game, and you decided to adopt a defensive style, and it paid off at the end. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, like we just said, we scored three tries in the last 20 minutes and really kept ourselves in the fight. And, you know, if it had gone on for another 10, you, you, you don't know. But um, I, I guess it's sort of like it's a shot to nothing, isn't it, in a way? It seemed like the game was away from us, and we just need to, you know, keep our discipline in, in the key areas and, and, and go back over it. But... You know, we wait. We put it to bed now, and we wait for Europe to come around in however long, and, and go from there. They're a pretty streetwise side, Munster. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I think you, you, it's an amazing chance to test yourself against the best. And coming away somewhere like this, uh, Castro last week, and then you know Exeter to come on the double header. This is what we wanted, and to test ourselves. And you know, I don't think we've let ourselves down on the whole. So, uh, you know, I don't know what people expected from us before the tournament started, but we know what we expected and, and what we wanted from it. So. We'll, um, you know, we'll regroup. We've got the next three weeks of the uh, of a, you know, a slight slight break from Premiership in Europe, and a chance for the squad to get back together and uh, and go again when we uh, when we come back into it. A chance to reflect on some of the lessons learned from this game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you know, some both positive and and negative, and pick up pick up Monday. You know, if boys getting a few days off to, you know, a bit of R and R, and 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 yeah, like you said, a, a lot of learnings over the next few weeks, and and start again, I guess. So. Psychologically important to end on that high note. Yeah, yeah, 100. I think there's no need to over overdo it. We've come away. We've down to 14 men for 60 odd minutes, and and we've and we've been beaten by a you know a, a very accomplished team. But we know we've had a good eight weeks. Um, I think if you'd have asked us eight weeks ago, we'd be in this spot, league cup. I think on the whole, we'd be a rel relatively happy team, and and um, and I think we're progressing nicely in what we're doing week on week. I think. Most areas of the game are really building, and there's always areas to improve. But you know, on on the whole, we are on the upwards curve, and we're and we're we're happy with where we are.